Welcome back, it's me, Jenny. How's everyone doing today? All right, we are going to do a part two of um, creating these candy holders. I have done a video showing you guys how I created this candy holder out of these little plastic little containers that hold washi tape that Michaels usually sells them. I have the link will be at the bottom of this video in case you guys want to see how I created this. If you have no clue of what I'm talking about, go see that video first before you see this one because it probably will not make any sense to you. So in that video, I had asked you guys if you guys want me to show you how to create these really cute, adorable little candy holders using toilet paper roll. And a lot of you guys said yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a part two video of this using, wait, 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 a part two video doing this using this. <laughs> okay, so I didn't want to add this project into my Halloween series because then that will be this will be the last video and I didn't want to cheat you guys I think that's just I don't know I didn't want to end it that way let's just put it that way so I'm just making like a part two kind of okay video thumbs up if you guys think that was a cool idea see I'm trying to be nice I'm trying to give you more videos okay so what you're gonna need is you're going to need some paper any kind of paper that you like, that you have, it'll be perfect. Several different kinds of paper because we're going to be layering our toilet paper roll with paper. So you want to get some different kinds of paper so you can get a very festive look to your project, okay? Once you do that, you are going to get your toilet paper roll or you can also use how paper roll somebody did ask me that in my last video yes you can if you want to I personally like to use toilet paper roll because it's kind of small you can put enough candies in there that you're not gonna be too cheapy about and it looks really pretty and really cute um toilet paper roll is a little bit bigger so you gotta keep in mind you have the, the bigger the toilet paper roll is, the more material you gotta use, the more candies you gotta use. So as far as depending how much you need to create, you will decide on you know the size that you need to make, basically, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to cover my toilet paper roll with this beautiful striped paper, okay? I like using striped paper because I like to measure for example, right now I'm measuring the size of paper that I would need to cover this roll. And I, right here, I kind of measured it. It will, it will probably be, need to be roughly around this length. And since the paper already has lines, I can just cut over that line. I'm not very good at cutting. I'm not very precise. So line paper does help me a lot with this project. Just a little tip. Okay, once you get the size that you need for your, uh, to cover your toilet paper roll, okay, you're gonna need hot glue or wet glue. I like hot glue because hot glue, you know, dries really quickly and is relatively very cheap, not too expensive to get, and, um, and it's just very easy. So you're gonna wrap around your toilet paper with this paper, okay? So I'm going to use my hot glue and I'm going to basically put a little bit of hot glue on the edge of the paper. Okay, and I'm going to add my paper, my roll, and I'm just going to roll it over, okay, so it can kind of cover my roll, my toilet paper roll, okay, see, just like that. And then you're just going to basically roll this all around until you have your toilet paper roll completely covered. Okay, I'm going to very, you know, I mean every once in a while I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue just to secure it and make sure that the hot glue will um, keep it together. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I like to do that because 
I don't like my projects falling apart on me, especially if you're going to give them as presents. You want to make sure they're secure enough and they're not falling apart, okay? All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more. And then once you get to the end, either you can overlap this if you want or you can cut it. I'm going to cut a little bit because I think it's way too big. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit. And then you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to add some hot glue. And you're going to roll. And then once you get to the end, you're going to be very generous with the hot glue. Okay, because you definitely do not want this to come undone. Be very generous with the hot glue, but don't layer too much because then you get you get that little bump of the glue. So you don't want to layer too much, but enough that they'll keep it together. Okay, and you should have something like this, my friends. See that? How easy that was? I love that. Okay. All right, the next step is take your other pattern of paper. In this case, I'm using these cute little ghosts. And you're going to start where you actually bind these together. And you're going to wrap your second layer or your second pattern of paper around your um, toilet paper roll, okay? So let's do that now. I like to start here because I like to end it here. So where where my where I ended the connections of the paper, as you can see here, is where I like to start. I like to roll it and then I like to end it there too. Because this way, when you're done and you want to decorate it, you can just kind of like decorate that section and you don't have different, you know, areas where you need to cover up. You can only cover up one section. Do you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean by that. Okay, add some more hot glue. Roll your paper. And by the way, you can also use fabric for this. You don't have to use paper. If you don't have paper, you can use fabric. You can also use uh, felt. Felt is very good to use. I like felt, so felt is a good material to use or just any fabric. Okay, so this is the end. I'm gonna roll. Okay, and you should get something like this. See that? So cute, right? At this point, you can decide what you want to do. Do you want to keep adding more layers of paper? If you want to, you can, okay? For me, I think I'm going to stop here because I think this is enough layering of papers for me. I'm just going to go back and make sure that all these little um, areas are definitely um, glued down and are definitely secured, well secured, okay? Because you don't want these things to go undone. That's the last thing you need, okay? So once you go and make sure everything is the way exactly how you want it, you're going to add the candies, okay? So I have my candies over here. Okay, just add your candies in your little tube. Now, at this point, you can decide what you want to do, okay? You can definitely do a few things to this. You can either... You need to use tool to keep the candies together, okay? So cut out a piece of tool that's big enough that's going to cover the whole entire um, toilet paper roll. And you can always trim that later on, okay? So once you do that, you have the candies inside. You want to decide how you want this to be. If you want, I like this to be sort of like a candy looking um, holder. Meaning, I want to wrap and put some ribbon on this end and put some ribbon on this end. But if you don't want to do that, let's say you just want to put, maybe you want to cover this part and maybe you just want to put ribbon on one end, you can also do that as well. Okay, so it's really up to you how you really want to put this together. 
I want it kind of look, I want it kind of, kind of it to look like a candy. So I'm going to put ribbons on the side, okay? So let me carefully, I'm going to carefully add first the tool, okay? And be careful because obviously it's tool, it's going to go through. So just make sure you are um, protecting your area that you're working with and don't do what I just did okay and you're just gonna wrap this around okay pretty tight okay pretty tight I'm gonna put a little bit more glue in here and we're just gonna wrap it around the tool okay just wrap it around it's not gonna disturb your paper because tool is obviously see-through and you can definitely see um, what you're covering with it okay so that's not going to disturb your paper all right so that's that I'm going to add a little bit of more on this side and then I'm going to wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it and there you go okay now for the little bit left over, either you want to cut it or you want to leave it alone. I want to cut mine. I don't want mine to be like that. So I'm going to cut mine. Just like that. And don't worry about this mess. We're going to cover the mess in a bit. Okay? So once you do that, now we can decorate our cover. Okay, or our um, toilet paper roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some of my lace that I have here that I absolutely love. I have some leftover ribbon that we can definitely use. Um, I have some lace here. More lace. And I want to use some twine. So just go crazy and decorate, okay? We're going to decorate... I'm going to actually put some ribbon on this end. So, I, ha I don't have too much ribbon left over, but I think I have enough to go around at least one. Yes, I do. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go around, and I'm just going to decorate my little roll. At this point, you can use whatever you want. You can use you know ribbon you can use lace you can use um basically whatever you want actually it doesn't really matter okay see that so i'm just gonna go around and i'm putting very little glue i'm not i'm not going crazy with the glue because i don't want it to gush out okay And this is a very inexpensive and affordable gift. Um, you know, if you have a lot of family members or a lot of friends at work, but you want to give them something for Halloween, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect gift because it's not expensive. You know, you most likely will probably have these at home and um, it, can, it could be fun. It could be fun to make. You could make this with your children if you want. It's just a fun project. I love it. Okay, so there goes there goes one end. You see that? How pretty that looks. We're gonna do the other end now. I'm gonna use a different kind of a different kind of lace. And I'm gonna use this one right here. Maybe we should no, we'll use this one. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I really didn't want to use this lace because I want to use this lace for fall embellishments, but it's okay. I think we have enough to use for fall embellishment. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go around. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to put some more here. And we're going to go around. And there you have it. Okay. See that? This is so cute. I love it. Beautiful. Okay. At this point, you can continue to layer more if you want, or you can just leave it alone. I think I'm going to do one more layer, because I already have this. I mean, I'm not going to do nothing with that little piece of lace. So might as well just make use out of it and just layer it down. And this is where you're going to go crazy. Your imagination is just going to go crazy, and you're just going to decorate this like a maniac. <laughs> and don't worry about how it's gonna come out just have fun decorating it okay a little bit more and then I'm gonna over layer this one just a bit and then I'm gonna cut it here and I think I'm basically done okay so you should get something guys like this okay you want to keep embellishing go right ahead I'm gonna do one more thing okay before I stop embellishing I'm gonna use these because I am dying to use these a little glittery gorgeousness and I'm just gonna go right around okay so I need I probably will need this little bit so I'm gonna cut this roughly here okay I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna measure the same same length for the other side Okay, and then we're going to hot glue this around the edge of the lace. Okay, let's go around. I'm going to hot glue a little bit here. You don't have to hot glue the whole thing, just every little, every little. I don't know. Maybe a little once in a while, just add a little bit of hot glue. It'll, it will adhere well. You don't have to go hot glue crazy. Okay, now a little bit more here. There you have it. See that? How cute that looks. Let's do the same thing on this side, okay? And then I think we're done with decorating as far as using ribbons and anything else. We're still gonna add a few more things, but as far as ribbon, I think we're good. teensy bit over here and I think we are done with decorating okay look at that how cute is that little candy roll adorable okay at this point we're going to use ribbon we're going to tie one ribbon onto this end
pretty tight, okay? Because you don't want these candies to fall off. Pretty tight. You should make you should do a little bowl or something like this we're going to add the candies in this side and then we're going to tie it like we did with the other side okay so start adding the candies in here whatever candies you want to use just add here the ambulance And we're going to do the same thing as we did at the other end. We're going to add a little bit of ribbon and we're going to tie on this end, okay? So I have here the ribbon. Make a nice little bow. Make sure it's super tight because again, you do not want these candies to fall. Okay. And now you have yourself a cute little candy roll. This is so cute. You can decorate if you want the the you know your roll. I think I want to add some of this cute little spider over here and this way I can also cover these little imperfections that I did earlier when I was hot gluing down my paper. So let's do that. Let's add these cute adorable little spiders. Okay. And then I have this black one. Probably add that one there. Okay. That's so cute. I love that. Okay, very nice. And if you want to keep adding more little like leftover, um, if you have some leftover uh, ribbon, just keep adding some ribbon. Actually, I wouldn't mind adding one of these little I think these will be cute to add because it gives like a nice little furriness to your project and it looks just super cute so I want to add a little piece of these ribbons I don't even know where the ending or the beginning is but it doesn't matter okay and I'm just gonna wrap this let's cut this in half first can we show we have the right amount the right size and then we're going to bend again we're going to fold it in half and we're just going to wrap it around that bow that we just created earlier okay and we're just gonna very easily just double knot it giving it security that the candies won't fall off and at the same time kind of looks a little bit goofy and very halloweenish right so let's do the other side And that, my friend, is another version of how to create a candy holder using toilet paper rolls. Sorry for the mess. But this is what you're going to get, guys. So this is how you create it. It's so adorable. It is so cute. You basically did this out of like basically no material whatsoever, just leftover material from other projects. All you need is some paper, all you need is some candy, some tool, 
some lace or ribbon and you can basically create this in no time okay so I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create the same concept that we did with these candy jars using the toilet paper roll method okay honeys I hope you guys like this video um, make sure you thumbs up if you enjoy it I hope that this will give you some inspiration to create some fun and um, adorable DIY projects for Halloween we are almost to the end guys we have one more video to do and then we are done with the Halloween series um, I cannot wait to show you the last video. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, it will probably be in another few days. And then we'll jump into fall. Okay, honeys? Alright, loves. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you, honeys, and have a fantastic weekend. Bye, loves.